In this presentation, we are going to take a look at Rivera Pro's plot feature and discuss how using plots for HDL debugging is a powerful alternative to traditional waveforms. As you know, the most commonly used approach for analyzing objects in an HDL design is based on the digital waveforms. Such a time domain representation of data is good for digital design systems but it may not be efficient for applications such as image processing, digital filter design, and DSP systems. Listed here are some of the challenges faced while designing such systems. In image processing designs, how would you know if your image filter is working correctly? How can you see filtering effects and not just columns of alphanumerical results on the waveform? In digital filter design, how do you observe the adaptive filter coefficient changes during the simulation? In DSP systems, how do you see what spectrum looks like in a FFT block without using a third-party tool to visualize the simulation output generated by the FFT block? On top of that, these designs add the time domain aspect to the list of the above challenges requiring engineers to observe a large data set spanning over the whole simulation time in order to analyze the results. Now that we have seen the challenges faced while analyzing the results using traditional waveforms, let's take a look at how using plots can be beneficial in analyzing the same results. The first example we have here is on evaluating FIR filter coefficients. The design is a finite impulse response filter with several banks of coefficients declared in the following way. Each bank is an array of 64 elements of 16 bits each. The problem here is how to evaluate and compare the filter type by observing a particular bank of coefficients. Probably the most convenient method would be to use an alphanumeric tabular or memory view representation. As you can see the traditional representation does not make it easy for you to find any symmetrical coefficients in the coefficient bank and also this method does not allow to efficiently compare multiple coefficient banks of interest. In a plot based scenario the user needs to only create a simple plot that presents the array objects on two-dimensional graphs. As you can see this representation allows you to easily see the filter coefficients. Also you will be able to add multiple arrays to the same plot in order to compare different filter types at once. The x-axis here represents the index of the array and the y-axis the value of the corresponding element. The second example we have here is the analysis of ultrasound beam intensity. The ultrasound beam intensity data is stored in following objects. Angles are stored in Rx underscore angle and beam intensity values are stored in Rx underscore value underscore 0 and 1. Here too we would have the same problem as before where the traditional way would be to view the data in a tabular format or use other third party tools to convert the data and display them in a graphical format. And on top of that, this example is not suited for a Cartesian graph. A better approach would be to take a look at the data on a polar plot. Here we see the plot based analysis of the arrays listed above and also the comparison between the Cartesian and the polar representation. And as you can see, polar representation is clearly more beneficial in this particular case of ultrasound beam intensity analysis. Next example we have is a design where the CNC system's actuator head coordinates are stored in a data structure as shown here. It contains a structure with two arrays. The problem here is how would you see the actuator head movement trajectory and make sure it matches the expected pattern. Again the traditional way would be to create memory dumps convert them to a format a third party tool can read, use the third party tool to generate a two dimensional graph. Using plot, we can take a look at the CNC head trajectory as shown here. Here the zoom feature is very important as you can zoom in 
and see which direction the head is moving. Another example is based on image recognition systems where the image processing unit is used to differentiate structures present in an image. For example, a CT scan image. Here, the gray scale data is stored in a one dimensional array, which is then converted to a floating point format, which offers high dynamic range. The digital system then performs a Laplacian edge detection on the image stored in the memory. After the edge detection, a non-linear transformation is applied. Now the challenge here is how would you see the image in order to verify if the transformation is operating correctly. Again, the traditional method would be to analyze the tabular representation of data or use another tool that supports such feature. In plot-based analysis, the image could be based on one or a two-dimensional array. If a one-dimensional array is used, it must store image data line by line. Images from different stages of processing are shown here. Here are some other examples where plot-based analysis is beneficial. In an image memory initialization, how do you make sure the image is initialized correctly? To do this, a plot-based scenario is used when data is loaded from an array containing the RGB values and as each color component is loaded, you can look at the plot and watch for inconsistencies. Another example here shows that on top of the three color components, a fourth component can also be used to set transparency to view an auxiliary measurement mask consisting of measurement window, measurement lines and shadowing effects. Here is the image with two images overlapped, but the second image or the mask is transparent so that the underlying image is visible. The final example is on how to evaluate I and Q signals from a demodulator and restore the original data based on these signals, taking the noise and distortion into account. A simple plot is applicable here where every I and Q pair represent a Cartesian coordinate. However, a special trigger needs to be set up so that every new point on the graph is based on a strobe signal change. Here the first figure is the transmitter QAM constellation. The second is the receiver constellation. The third one is the phase jitter at the receiver. Now that we have seen the plot feature, let's take a look at how easy it is to create such plots in Rivera Pro. The Rivera Pro installation comes with an example workspace which has four different designs demonstrating the four different types of plots. Let's look at the simple.v file which consists of multiple registers which are used to store certain values. Now let's compile the file and then initialize the simulation. Once the simulation initializes, you can create a new plot from file, new, and then select a simple plot. Here you can either have a plot based on two objects where x-axis would be one object and the y-axis would be the other or use an index based approach where x axis will be the index of the array and y axis would be the corresponding value and click finish run the simulation till the end and then rebuild the plot here you can see the index based plot of the selected register here we can zoom in and use the zoom feature to see the results much more clearly You can see that creating plots does not require any changes to your code or test bench. All you need to do is select the type of the plot that you need to create and select the array from which you want to display the values. Now let's run the other examples to see the other types of plots. The next one is the polar plot. Let us run the sample design which creates the polar plot.
Here is the polar plot with the three arrays displayed at once. One array shows the beam intensities, the red plot shows a spiral function, the gray plot shows a circle. Now let's try the vector example where the trajectory is displayed. In this plot, you can take a look at how the CNC head would travel in real life. And using the trajectory feature, you can see the direction in which the CNC head would be moving. The fourth type of plot is the image plot. Here are some examples of it. The first one is a color map of a CT scan. Here you can see the color map and now the grayscale image. Next example is the ARGB plot where an auxiliary component is used on top of the three RBG components to get the transparency needed for this application. Here you can see the original image and on top of that the mask window which is transparent and has the measurement grid and shadowing effect. The last example is the image memory initialization. Here we have three plots at three different times during the simulation. The first component loads are blue, second one would be green and the third one would show you the whole RBG together. In conclusion, we have seen a user-friendly visualization tools and techniques that can be very important for efficient HDL design analysis and debugging specifically the ability to graphically represent data set values and correlations is very essential for a number of applications that were explained in this presentation. Using the plot tool which is available with Aldex Rivera Pro environment, engineers can focus on designing their hardware and not on the time consuming and inefficient test bench creations which are needed in order to analyze the results without the plot feature. Thank you for watching our presentation.